So, you know, there are certain orders which are very clear to us that if you wanted to get a Harvard MBA or, uh, you know, a Stanford engineering degree, oh, you will have to study this many years and go through this, that, et cetera, et cetera, and then you will get that degree. But simply because we read a book about Gandhi or any other hero, we somehow think, oh, by reading it and by resolving it, I can become that. You do not. There is an order there also. You have to go through it. So when you read Gandhiji's life, how he became Gandhi. I mean, how he became Gandhiji from Gandhi. He went through a whole process of sadhana. So I think if we are gentler to ourselves or we are less egoistic, or we are more humble, he said, oh, I've been brought in a certain set of values. These are my inspirations. These are my challenges. These are expectations of me. But I want to follow this path. And there is a process of sadhana. Just as a student goes through sadhana or effort, uh, you know, to become somebody, so also to become this valued person and to be able to do business accordingly or whatever accordingly, you will go through a process. So if you don't get, just like a child, you don't take your failures or your faults very seriously, you laugh. You say, oh, I wanted to speak the truth. I didn't. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> but I'll be more resolved. So, you know, how can you by just resolving, say, oh, I've become a Gandhi or a you know, Nipun Mehta or whosoever. You don't recognize that there is a period of sadhana. If you recognize that, it will be much shorter than, you know, the whole 16 years or 18 years of education to become an MBA. And you will be a lot more successful. That's what we started with, that this law of love a law of truth, truthfulness, etc., etc., is so much more powerful than powerful. But you've got to recognize that it is there is a period of sadhana, period of graduation. Accept it, uh, accept the failures. It'll be much simpler. Uh, you know the other question uh, that uh, the Mullah Nasruddin or Mia Nasruddin, Mullah Nasruddin's question. So you know. <clears throat> Again, the same thing that uh, inspiring, demonstrating, imposing. So demonstration is the best. That if I can demonstrate something that uh, I'm a leader, but I do not try and grow my influence in any manner, which is not right. That's great. If that influence will widen, will deepen only when its time comes. Any leader who wants to you know, follow the path of values and then start setting a timetable on it that, oh, in the next three years, this must happen, it cannot happen. You're bound to get, you know, you will make some shortcut, you will get frustrated, all frustrations and uh, you know, mismatching expectations will lead you to do something wrong. So, I think, you know, to expecting that Amazon should stop selling is not possible. As you rightly said, that, you know, can we inspire people to examine their consumption instead of asking them to stop consuming? Can we ask them to examine what is happening? Have you understood what goes behind that consumption? What happens after that consumption? People will wake up. And good thing is that I feel we are in a super spiritual age where you know, young people are getting to experience all the things that people like us took 40, 50 years to experience. They are experiencing at a very young age. As you know, things are more abundant, knowledge is more available. Uh, there are so many inspiring stories. Young people are coming to pay places like the Pasna, to the, like the service uh, space. Why? Because they're already going past consumption. They say, oh, we have seen how hollow it is, how toxic it is. So it's mm -hmm. already happened. So you don't have to stop others. You have to do your bit and let nature decide the time and the extent of its influence. Then life becomes more beautiful. Mm -hmm.